call the meeting to order at 6.30. Do we have any additions to the agenda? Yes. We do. God, I hope not. Energy committee. I'm sorry. And... It's basically an agreement for the level two energy assessment. Oh, okay. Um, I just received it today. So, okay. number 12 came in late. That's right the only now. thing you have. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Anybody else have an addition? No. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay. <clears throat> Let's review the minutes from October 2nd. Motion to accept the minutes. Oh, wait a minute. I, no, you make a motion to accept the minutes. Okay, yes, I got, it. I got it. I got it, got it, got it. As written? No. No. Then just open yeah, the discussion. Yeah, then, then, then you have to change it. Then you have to turn around and, and amend the, 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 the motion. motion. I know, but that's the way he wants to do it. You don't be here all night. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do we have a second on the motion? If we don't, that's okay. I'll second it. All right. Any further discussion? No. <laughs> any, <coughs> any further discussion? Who did the meeting minutes? Carl. Carl. Okay. He's going to have to do them off the recording um, this for tonight. There was, okay. or Gina's going to. Or, I'm not. All depends on how much you talk. I may take them or not. All depends on what? How much talking there is. If I think I can get them done, I will. You don't have to cop. You don't have to write down everything that was said. All you have to do is get the nature of what was discussed. And that's right in Robert's rule of the word. Mine are a lot meaner than Deirdre's word. I am with you. Mine are a lot meaner. Yes. Brevity is the action. <clears throat> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and brevity would help our town administrator take our minutes if we don't blah blah forever because she gonna refuse if we, we run on and on. All right. Any, dis any further discussion on the minutes? No. Zoe? No discussion. I don't see anything to add or change. Awesome. You are, do you have your glasses on? <laughs> <laughs> They're tiny little glasses inside my eyes. Okay, okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. Give it The minutes have passed. Um, public comment. I do. Okay. Uh, a citizen came up to me and um, we had a conversation about, shockingly enough, the revolving loan fund. Oh. And was a little destroyed or a little disappointed that we were giving the money back. I explained what the situation was. Yeah. And she, um, she wondered whether we could s somehow put something out on Front Porch Forum to the, um, with some sort of wordage that the first couple of years um, that the revolving loan fund agreed to was that would give preferential treatment to East Montpelier residents. Kind of get, get, get the word out. It's in the minutes. Yeah, so I don't minutes. really want, know want, why we would want need to, put to do it on a... Front Porch Forum. I think that's just going to invite a lot more questions and inquiries. It was in the minutes, and it was stated in the minutes. And yeah, Carl, that was part of Carl's motion. Yeah, okay. it was actually part she of Carl's was, motion. She, yeah. she didn't know anything about it or the individual and was not able to attend the last meeting and is not able to attend this evening's meeting. So just really wanted to emphasize that we got some sort of publicity that this is available, and I'm just bringing it to the we, We've been kicking around the revolving loan fund for the last 10 years. I understand. We haven't done a goddamn But now that it's changed and went back, I can tell you. Nobody knows about it. Change? Oh, yeah. Change to what? I think it just change gets to tough. My personal well, opinion on this is I think when we keep communicating it. outside of the meetings, there's a reason why very limited people then participate in the meetings. So we start to circumvent the importance mm. of the select board meetings. So by that's adding more my... information out there so they don't have to <clears throat> Well, it, exactly. I think that's where things get complicated. We've, In my brief tenure here, we've run into a lot of issues with that. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't this. I don't know where I to don't. find the agendas. I don't know where it will. By continuing to use Front Porch Forum as our main means of communication, I think that we're just perpetuating this challenge of people not. I mean, it's in the minutes. It was clearly okay. part of the motion. So. Yeah. Although I don't know if anybody ever reads the minutes, but I'm, I'm bringing it to the attention of the select board. Well, they must. We spend hours working on the minutes. I just, Wordsmithing them to death. Right. I'm not trying to... I'm we, not should, try, yeah, we should maybe sure. emphasize that the information is available in the minutes every week. And that's where people can look for their information, maybe instead of Front Porch Forum. I, I just also... It seems like um, not everyone is connected to Front Porch Forum anyways, but the website is up for everybody. And I'll just point out that nobody is going to go on the website to read the minutes from a select board meeting.
then it must will... not be that important to them the revolving loan fund but right? but 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 they will see that it's hey by the way i i think everybody reads front porch forum or mi i don't read it you don't read it? No. I'm, I get so tired of front porch form and oh, I, rubber it tires it it for it sale. Takes two, it takes three. I'm takes, like, I don't. I read every single yeah. thing on it. It takes two minutes a day. Okay, I'll bring right. it up. And All right. Thank you. I brought, I, yeah. It's reflected in the minutes that I brought it up. That was a done deal anyway because the state was going to take it back if we didn't uh, pass no, it on. I, that's I, actually my that's concern not, is I think it's going to get residents upset about something that, frankly, the town <clears> was put in this position frankly yes. the safe is going to take the money back yeah so right. we wouldn't have had any concession for any of it yeah. to be used in town yeah. with the exception of that, what we did that's with not the conversation that was not yeah. the conversation it's just conversations that somebody wish they had more information about it or no, knew, no, they or knew that hey by the way it's given back and you've got a couple of years to apply before it go before it's totally dispersed I'm surprised we can still get newspaper. it anyway we're never in a newspaper anymore darn i'm so sorry okay. well let's make you. let's make some news tonight <laughs> Well, just to remind of that conversation we had with Downstreet, it's just remember this all just happened. We just cut that check today. It's in the warrant. Mm -hmm. So they don't have the money yet. Part of the conversation that evening was to work with Downstreet. Downstreet will be getting marketing collateral out to East Montpelier residents yeah. to solicit for residents. So I think Great. we need to wait for that information. But that was, again, part of the meeting, part of the video that any yeah. resident can watch from the meeting as well yeah, when the Downstreet representative was here. So yeah. watching that video and honing in on the section yeah. when Downstreet was there may be helpful for a resident to actually hear Downstreet. And that was if something that she one, said. It, then yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, so your resident had a concern, and actually we addressed it. Thank it you, has Mr. been addressed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'd, like, I'd like to move to the next item. You're done with the public comment? I am definitely. I have, no, I have nothing else to uh, add. <laughs> Discussion on 2024 employee health insurance options. Yes. Okay. Why don't you charge there? The Color. gist is the, the costs are going up 12.2%. Yep. Yep. Um, so yeah, MVP, lot. consistent with prior years, is once again, well, this is better than the 20% last year. So yep. um, MVP is once again um, the lower cost option. Um, well, it's, it's hard. It's hard. I, I was trying to look through all the tables. It's, it's, it's interesting to do some comparisons. Usually they're so close, it doesn't make that much difference. No, they, they really are. The, the coverage is exactly the same. There's no difference between the okay. plans that they offer. Right. Yeah. The only real difference between MVP and Blue Cross is some potential difference in the doctors that are signed up with the two different. If you want to stay in your companies. network, you're in network. Yeah. So similar to as we have in the past, um, you we the town has been offering the MVP Platinum plan for the employees. The employees have always had the option to use to opt for Blue Cross and Blue Shield. They just pay the difference between the two. So the town's offering essentially mm -hmm. a a fund of MVP Platinum, and we have one employee that is currently on Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Right, that's correct. Yep. So MVP is still cheaper. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, MVP is still, it's a yeah. more economical plan. Yeah. Um, and obviously the stipend is a calculation that's 50% yeah. of the single, so that math, that's of course gonna go up. Oh, it's <laughs> consistent 50? with the, it's 50% 50. 50 of the single. Okay. And this was actually consistent. I think I told you at a meeting a few or more meetings ago that I had received information that this was, it was within this range. I can't remember what the range was that they provided that it, but this is right in line with, it's in line with what we expected. Can I yeah. ask some, a question on this page here about the mm -hmm. current plan offering? Which mm -hmm. one are you looking at? This is what Hickok okay. and yeah. Boardman sends us. Um, so Blue Cross rates are on the right on the bottom and rates are on the left what's a what's the difference between one's 135,000 one's only 33,000 is that a mistake um 
I am guessing she's calculating there. Oh, no, that's actually Where accurate. are you looking down at the bottom? It's yeah. actually, that's it's what that is, is based on what the employees currently have elected. Oh, okay. So that's, they're showing you that one employee right. with Blue that. Cross is currently on a, yeah. on a family yeah. plan. And then every the the blend of everyone else. So who has selected okay. single, couple, yeah. okay. family? So that's what that is. So one family plan is thirty three thousand dollars a year now. Thirty eight thousand, correct? Holy, hop and horse feathers. That's a lot of money. Thirty three thousand. Yeah. That's the premium. Thirty eight thousand now is going to be next year for that one. Holy cow! I know. That's, that's for Blue saying. Cross for a family <laughs> plan, correct? For MVP. The that's family plan in 2040 is $30,000 a month. It was 23000 when I left Hardwick, and I can't believe what it is I now. Just it's crazy. Medicare, it was plus us over $1,000 a month each. I yeah. get it. It's plus us $2,000. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. That's why people it's going up 13 That's why a lot of people go to work for benefits. Wow. Absolutely. Other things, but this is just huge. Huge. Yeah. Huge. <laughs> Bert, Bert <is> huge. <laughs> oh, this is terrible, though. I mean, well, it, that's it, why we need I don't know. How. That's why we need Medicare for all. Okay. The only answer is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if, quo. if you are comfortable with status quo, the select board can issue a motion. As that's, comfortable as we can be. I know. I'll make a motion to continue the plan. The MVP. MVP. We'll continue with, with the option to go to Blue Cross. Um, so anyway, everyone does have still the option to go and MVP Blue Cross. or Blue Cross. They, they do. They have, yeah. they have, they have MVP. But the no, town, I know. But yeah, they, have they have the, the option. option. They have the just, option. But the town is funding the MVP Platinum Plan. 100%. Yeah. 100%, correct, yeah. yeah. with a stipend at 50% of the single rate for <laughs> MVP. Yeah, I mean, the change that we could make is if the employee, if we said... No, the employees got to start. Stay in our network. You're going to go outside the network, and it's going to cost you ten percent. Well, that's what we did on the. There, you know, the we're paying one hundred percent of the MVP. They go to Blue Cross Blue Shield. They have to pay the difference, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. We're doing. Oh, yeah. And they pay. They pay the full it. difference of that. So yeah. once this this motion is set tonight, I have a memo that with their next paychecks. All yeah. well, I go meet with the road crew, but everyone else, I meet with the people here they get a memo that lays all this out. So they know that they can, MVP Platinum is covered. Yes. Yeah. Right. They can opt for Blue Cross yes. and Blue Shield and here yeah. is the cost of doing that. Yeah. And then also, or you can opt for the stipend if you prefer. Yes, but the <clears throat> option that we could do that we haven't done in years, but we used to do, was the employees paid a certain amount. They paid 20% or whatever. What are they doing hard um, they were, I believe they were at 15% when I left. Right. So that now well, I think other towns, that. other towns do that. I don't know. I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm pretty. The state sure does they that do. too. It's twenty percent. Yeah. And I was trying to work Hardwick up to twenty percent, but we never got there. Yeah. So that that is an option that, you know, we could do. I'm just saying. Well, you, the option could be not to even make them pay for hundred percent. But then they would leave. Well, that's my point. We were yeah. trying to. Yeah, well, I any think change it, I think no, we're in, a a difficult, in a difficult hiring environment. That, that, yeah, that, that was going to be my speech. No, no, I, I'm not advocating. But yeah, I'm, I'm just telling you that's an option. Co-op pays 100 percent, right? Plus hundreds. I mean, of I have of a couple of employees myself. I pay all their insurance, yeah. Yeah. and it's, then well, it's what, an what's not covered, and I have some employees that don't want to have insurance for whatever reason. But then I pay a lot of their medical expenses. I just pay it out of pocket. Yeah. I think that health insurance, um, even if, even if even if you're paying fifteen percent or twenty percent, is still such a, <coughs> it's still such a benefit that oh, yeah. I know people yeah, yeah. who used to work for me who went to different places. They were paying a couple bucks more an hour, yeah. but they said, and I said, hey, have fun, go ahead, you know. Yeah. And they they came back and said, we're not going to leave because you know because two dollars an hour is not going to cover our insurance benefits. Yeah. Just so you know, another know. thing that we do that Michelle and I started doing, uh, Michelle and I discussed it, and it was something that was done in Randolph at her previous employer, is she gives the staff a statement that actually outlines their total compensation. I think that's oh, awesome. Yeah. Which includes, and I do that with new hires <coughs> as well, here's yeah. what you are actually receiving. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, because it is an important distinction to be made. Um, and it honestly is a selling point that we have as an employer um, right. that we pay for this fully. Yeah. It's something I really tout um, when we are 
right. recruiting people because mm -hmm. that, to your point, John, your that extra couple bucks an hour they may make somewhere else, we are paying for. <laughs> We're just paying for it in a different way. And you so guys are in Beamers too. Right? It is important. So, yeah. Oh yeah, so I that's, I outline awesome too. I outline everything, including the life insurance that we pay for. Obviously, right. that's no, but I show yeah. so it's. I try to give employees and Michelle creates a statement for them as well. I think yeah. she's been doing it like maybe every quarter-ish or so, yeah. but certainly when we redo sure. these benefits in yeah. January, she will do that. Right. Here's your new yeah. compensation, which yeah. outlines and what- it's not, And it's not the lowest level of insurance either. It's the highest it's level. The, it's the highest level. That's my point. Yeah. Yes. That's my point. I mean, at this point with the hiring environment <laughs> the way it is, we're probably just gonna keep it where it is, but- and it is something you know, that may need to be revisited. Yeah, especially as cost escalates going nuts. I mean, 20% last year, 13% this year. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I have one employee I'm paying his insurance. It's over $1,200 a month. I'm paying. But one a single. Crazy. Nuts. Anyway. All right, so we don't have a motion, but I think we've... I did make a motion. Oh, you made the motion, but no one seconded it. Well, I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Okay. Uh, oh, we're slightly ahead of schedule. Oh, oh gee. <laughs> <laughs> Update on ARPA funds. Uh... So you have another schedule here. Um, uh -huh. Essentially, the just with ARPA is, you know, as you all know, we received 762, just under $763,000. Obviously, we have expended um, to date 405 of that. Um, I have some items that I believe the select board is kind of okay considering ARPA. Um, town garage design right now only have that estimated at the cost to draft the RFP and the wetlands consultant. The four corner schoolhouse, um, I think is something that could come from ARPA town office repairs. I put 10,000 in that's more of a guesstimate that I'm going to guess is going to be a little bit higher because for any of you that walked into the building today, there's more wood rot that's kind of being found as as we're working on repairing the building. Wow. Well, I think they're doing quite but a job out here. Doing I think very good probably, work. Yeah. Doing no, no, no. I don't mean it in a bad yeah. way that there's some going to be additional I mean, costs. I think it's understandable, and I think yeah, it's good yeah. that we're taking care of the building. Of course. I, I think it's it's not a bad thing that we're doing what we're doing, and then we've already kind of discussed that the fiscal 24 ash tree management project um, would be a good use of ARPA funds. Mm -hmm. So on your next page, I just want to point out to you something that Chair Gardner said at the last meeting, uh -oh. which was the fire engine chassis. We do have some items that if you wanted to call these ARPA, yeah. you could. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. essentially that would be turn these expenditures as a use of ARPA funds as opposed to the use of capital reserve, which would then free up funds in the capital reserve that were earmarked for these items. <laughs> One would be the fire engine chassis. And then if we wanted to go back the 2024 Mack truck, the build costs of 99,648 were incurred in this fiscal year. So yeah. you don't have to make a decision on any of this tonight. Um, I just will need to know before basically March 31st because I have to report to the federal government. So if we do want to reclassify some of these as ARPA, I will need to know that before I report to the federal government because once I report, we can't go back at that point. I can't see how there's any negatives to it. There isn't. Um, what it is, it gives us total choice on yeah. how we use the money that we save. You're essentially the turning the funds from a restricted ARPA fund to an yeah. unrestricted fund. Right. Yeah, if we want to use that money for the town garage or whatever. Absolutely. You know, You're freeing up funds in the capital We're freeing reserve. up the deadline. The deadline is no yes. longer looming on us. So right. one other discussion, so. as you recall, from the last meeting was to put a post out to local nonprofits yeah. mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. see what need there is in the community. So I drafted a kind of draft of our front porch forum post there was a bit of a debate as to whether an amount should be included in here or not i kind of drafted ish what you all got to last time but you all can make the decision tonight if and what you would like that statement to say to front porch forum and as we had discussed i would reach out to 
Twin Valley Senior Center as a follow-up to their visit from over a year ago if they would like to make a request. But otherwise, I think a general front porch forum post and you can adjust, tweak this as you can tell me what you want me to say on front porch forum and I will say You've it. I'm just wondering if we should say it more generally, not, I mean, I'm you. I'm against, I'm going to vote against this. Yeah, so <laughs> what, be, okay, so let's just I don't want an amount in there. That's what I'm thinking too. Oh, yeah. I'm that's fine thing. with me. I, that's why I said uh, that's not why so this, specific. That's why I put specifically, I want us to discuss what you said. I kind of like, that almost gets you in trouble. Like, well, be, it's obligated. It's, I don't want this as an obligation. Say, well, I don't it, 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 yeah. If it's not proper, yeah, or it doesn't fit what we think is yeah, I, benefit to the town. I think we should kick that out. That's fine. I'm with Scott. So, on that. so what do you say there, though? The East Montpelier Select Board has no. not allocated. I, I will, um, has agreed to support. No, I would say something. No. Like East Mont. Well, it could be East Montpelier Select Board um, is entertaining. Or something to the effect that we, or we'll review um, potential um, requests. You have something to say, Zoe? Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just trying to fill in, maybe yeah, re ahead. just review potential requests. Soliciting. Yeah, so something like review. We would, we'll, 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 re we'll review potential applications for. Yeah. Or we'll re review. Uh, yeah, something, something in general. The select like board has. Um, um we'll, is accepting or okay right or, yeah uh, is uh, accepting uh, requests from east montpelier nonprofit <coughs> organizations um, um for the use of arpa funds for the use of arpa for potential use for potential use of arpa funds yeah if those funds meet the requirements of the arpa program yeah you can't Tec just have people come in here willy nilly no. saying you want to buy new cars right. and stuff you know technically i know it's pretty wide open, similar to when Four Corner Schoolhouse came to you with the mold remediation project. Yeah. That's, that's the type of thing that you're looking for. That's yeah. actually a really great example right. of a situation that came up. Yeah. A, a local organization came to you. But they, yeah. by, putting, by putting the onus on the applicant to try to follow some of the restrictions, because we're not, we're, we're not going to fund... Um, compensation, employee compensation. I think what you're trying to avoid is someone coming in and just saying, I want $10,000. Right. Yeah. You want... would rather them say, I want $10,000 because I want to do this project. Or I you're think trying this... to narrow the field. Yeah. Or, or, or at least at least let them do some research and see what is acceptable for ARPA funds instead of, yeah. exactly, I need or 10 grand because I want to because I want to hire, cause I wanna hire somebody. Yeah. It would be too restrictive to say that projects that do not meet ARPA requirements will not be considered. That might make someone think twice about putting any request out there. Yeah, I think you just say that meet the... It gets sticky because, because we elected the way that we did yeah. um, with ARPA, pretty much the rule is anything the select board decides wants to spend money on is ARPA eligible. Yeah. So in other words, it's a pretty wide, it's really- It's very wide. Up, up to but you. But they need to spend it, but there are, but there are, you would say, there are um, requirements with the use of that money, like a, you have to spend it within a certain period of time. Oh. And, you know, but you don't need to list them off, it's just say they must meet the requirements of the ARPA program. If there are any, if there aren't any. There really aren't, because yeah, in this case, you're gonna authorize- no, you should say it anyway. Though. Yeah, it makes people think. Yeah, okay. if you just say you're going to give away well, money willy nilly to non. You have to. They have to spend it down before a pe certain period so of time. So why don't I say for ARPA eligible yeah. expenses, and then if yeah. people call and say, "Can you?" I mean, let's face it, we don't have 150 organizations in town. So, if the few that see this call and want to ask about that, I will encourage anyone to please bring. What project are you looking for? Yeah. The, the board's going to want to understand what you're using this money for. Yes. So that's, I would encourage someone again to just not come and say, I just want 10 grand because yeah. for no, re, you know, right, no, yeah. you all want to make sure the funds are going to be used and actively used in the community. Right. So did you want to read that that we have? <laughs> just because. So I think uh, the East Montpelier Select Board is accepting requests from East Montpelier nonprofit organizations for ARPA eligible expenses. And then if you are an East Montpelier organization. Are, 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 are ARPA eligible program support? 
Okay, I like that. Because it's a little better than just expenses. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I like that. Yes. And I like yeah. program support because that is, I had started to put in here, do you have a project? Do you have and, something? But then yeah. I don't want people to, you know, that, that gets defined project. You know, yeah. it gets real sticky. Yes, sir. Does the, in your second line, if you're an East Montpelier. It should be yeah, an organization. Left something. Or no an organization. Um, does it have to be, it has to be domiciled in East Montpelier? Uh, it doesn't have to be, but you all were very specific last time I about it wanting it to be, be East Montpelier. But my be. question is, yeah, that that could be our criteria, right? But the question is, if the library comes to us and you've got all these residents using, it's not oh. in East Montpelier. I guess we can wait when we see what comes. Yeah. In. You were all very yes. focused on it yeah. being an East Montpelier no, organization, that's so that's why I kept enough. saying East Montpelier uh, over and over and over again. We, we, we have I'm to. agreement on that. I agree. We have to. Yeah. I totally agree. If you're an East Montpelier nonprofit, is that what you were trying to say? I meant to say, I, w I was going to put organization, so but the, I could put nonprofit. The yeah, library non may get funding, a ton of funding from Montpelier. Well, Montpelier keep in mind, a lot of these organizations, most that you would probably name off and come up with, I just emailed a whole bunch of them today to remind them that they have applications yeah. on Friday for funding. Fun. So, From us all, right? like the library comes to the of select course. board directly, but um, it's a separate item. so hopefully we, so we if, are already actively reaching course. out to those organizations yeah. separately. So if you say you're an East Montpelier nonprofit, yep. or no, an, an organization, organization in yep. East Montpelier, knowing support, shouldn't I say that? Um, if you're and you know you already said it, if you are an East Montpelier nonprofit. Should say. I can also say. Well, you already said. You, or you no, said nonprofit. I can also get rid of. Or you said. No you said nonprofit in the previous oh, sentence. Yeah. Located in East Montpelier. You're in East Mont. Or if you're in East Montpelier. Um, yeah. An East Montpelier organization. Just leave it at that because. Okay. It's fine. Okay. If you're an East Montpelier organization or Novan organization. Okay. All right. And then I targeted right. the November twentieth <coughs> select board meeting because that gives people. November. Okay. Sure. Fair amount of time, month -ish. So you're gonna put this out? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Do it tomorrow. Yep. With revolving loan fund. That's a joke. I guess oh, confusing. I can resend the link to watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. 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 Yeah. What? Yep. Oh, um, did Gina say that Twin Valley had not submitted a request this year? Twin Valley came to the select board. It's well over a year <laughs> at this point, um, I'm going to guess. It was shortly after I started yeah. with the town because they knew ARPA funds was out there and they made a, they came to the, to the select board to ask if they had some projects they needed done. So they were wondering if they could kind of get in line for ARPA funds. And at the time it was all brand new. Everyone was still trying to figure everything out. So the select board told um, Twin Valley, you know, we're not sure yet what's going on. Please come back at a future, you know, once we figure it out. So that's why Twin Valley is an organization that I would specifically reach out to um, because they have already approached the select board once and we're told to wait until this was better defined. Now we're defining it. Now is a good opportunity to reach out to them. Thanks. Good. Are we done with the discussion on our group? Yes. Okay. And then one other question for you all. Four Corners is beginning the work for their mold remediation project. So they uh -huh. reached out to ask how mm -hmm. we wanted to get this 30000 Michelle and I both agree the easiest thing really is to just give them the check, a check for 30000 That's what their estimated costs are. And they mm -hmm. can facilitate paying their vendors and, and what, moving forward with the work. So what, what, do we have any accounting at the end of the project? No, we don't need to. You're well, making, again, this is ARPA grant. eligible. You are able to just, yeah. you've what, authorized this fund, these what, funds. What happens if the cost only comes to 28000 well, and we're giving them 30? It? Yeah, it's over 60000 Oh, 60, so we're only paying part. We're paying part. They got a grant. Okay. It's a 50-50. I, I, yeah. I remember that. Okay, so that's it's yeah, irrelevant. It's my, my question. Okay. We just thought this was easier for everybody yeah. to. Sure. And a, and a good thing. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure before we did that. that they didn't have mold until they made it weather tight. Yeah. Okay. Before the wind just blew through it, everything was fine. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, so we're updated on ARPA funds? Yeah. Okay. Um, town Treasury Report. Michelle. August 31st. 2023 monthly financial reporting package, delinquent tax collector update, update on investment of town funds. Okay. <clears throat> I see. Town Treasury report. 
a normal monthly report, nothing overly exciting in there. I mean, it's two months of the fiscal year so far. And then this, these are the notes Michelle gave me, so I'll let mm -hmm. you all read that. <clears throat> Doing pretty well, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... and she has been working with the town attorney on tax yeah. sale, or really collecting delinquent taxes, I should say. Yeah. She's been working you with... You have four landowners, it looks like, property owners, paid a tax sale. They're really, they're doing really good. I mean, they are. being at 58,000. Yeah, that's really low. She's, yeah, yeah, she's doing really, really good. I mean, good. that's a half or, it's it's actually a third of past. 20. What's that? It's, yeah, but it yeah. wasn't And yeah. she has three people set up on a payment plan. Yeah, so hopefully good. that helps. That's really good. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. She's made a lot of really, really good progress. I can tell you, yeah. any discussions we've had in the past. And, and you'll notice that under the treasurer, the treasurer's report that the one million dollars invested is going to bring in about fifty four thousand five hundred dollars. We were getting some interest, but that one million dollars will give us on an annual basis fifty four thousand dollars. A lot from two years ago it would have been zero. Yeah. Last year it would have been almost zero. Mm -hmm. That's fifty. That's fifty four grand. Well, a lot of it's because of the interest. I mean, the investment. Well, it, better. All, it all is. I mean, my point is. Yeah. This is going to our bottom line. Nice job, Scott. Yeah. That's an attaboy. Right, right. Well, I think you were going to understand it. Anyway, I, I, I've been pushing a little aggressively. Just, I hate not. Wasting, not, not mm -hmm. getting something you can get. It's an opportunity that and this is capitalizing. And there'll be yeah. more of this, too. This is oh, just yeah. the start. This is just the start. We could have a couple million dollars. It could be a hundred grand to a free cash flow. That's mm -hmm. And it will be accessible, so. It will help the budget. Mm-hmm. It might defray some of the health insurance costs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> cool. Good idea. Thank you, Michelle. Yes, I will. They're much, much appreciated. What's the minimum on those CDs? I see you got a quarter of a million in those. Three you can walk into the bank for $1,000 and get these numbers. Hmm. And this is also, this is comparable to T-bill money. It's, it's, it's basically the same. Yeah. And it doesn't matter to us because we don't pay taxes. Otherwise, we'd be investing in T-bills rather than CDs. Oh, and T-bills? You don't pay Vermont tax. On anybody does No. Uh, an any government, any government. No, how about an individual? Any government paper invested yeah. by anybody, you yourself. If you buy a CD at 5.5%, yeah. you will pay Vermont state income tax. Yeah. If you take that same and buy a T-bill at 5.5%, you will not pay Vermont state tax. Oh, really? Tax. Huh. So if it's the same, you should never buy a CD. Right. Unless you like paying taxes. To the Nope. Mm. Okay, great. I'm, okay. I'm very happy about that. As well. Yeah, she has some pretty good updates between taxes and the yeah. investment. Yeah, good darn stuff. good. Ta I can't believe the delinquent taxes down that much. That's the lowest I've ever seen. That's, what I know. Really? Tax sale. That's the lowest I've seen since I've been on select board for we the We haven't done tax sales for a while. Oh, no. we've, done, we were, we've done some, though. When did Bruce do last one he did? 2020 yeah. was the last time. 2020, all, not that long ago. You know. Right. Yeah, it wasn't that was long. It was 2019 or 2020. In 2020, 2020 the delinquent tax was 148000 Right. But in that case, but some of it, that one person was costing us 90000 right? Yeah, I, I, I mean, taxes. there was the estate that just got settled, which has probably yeah. helped a that, lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so we carried that for a while. When, yeah. 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 And then there was a major tax. Right, What's that? David Rogers. Yes. State, yeah. 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 And that, of course, that's been dragging on for years. The, the other, and he was delinquent too for a long time. The other funds that. that were invested in those t those Tittle CDs, numbers. like the cemetery right. fund and that kind of stuff, came on like is that yeah. sitting in, yeah. earning nothing now? He was a good, They're I still sitting where they well. are. Like, we would well. need to look into some of those because some of those were very. Even if like, it went into a savings account, the, you know, or some. some What's that? I, at least one of those was basically based on a will, so we there, would have there, to. There's, a, you, there's other information here on the money that's sitting in the, the cemetery fund and yeah. other stuff, and those CDs probably at a poor interest rate have matured, 
and a lot of times if you don't tell them what to do with it, yeah, it'll, it'll sit over again. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they'll roll, like Bank of America will roll them over at zero, which I found out recently. Um, and I was just concerned that. They'll roll them over at zero interest? Depending on what the rates yeah. are. Anyway, I'm just bringing that to the attention yeah. of the treasurer yeah. to manage whatever funds. Okay. So I don't know where those funds are right now. Well, like you're talking about the cemetery, Country. the perpetual fund, the perpetual listed. care fund. Sir, the perpetual care fund. You mean those? They're, they're listed in here. Yeah. Um, I read it online. There is information on where each of those CDs are. Done yeah, we they've come up before at select board meetings, and we're just like, oh, just roll it over. Yeah. What page? What page is this? Oh, it's on. Uh, yeah, okay, right here. This one. Yeah, right here. I've got it. Okay. The no, you miscellaneous trust no, fund. This one. Oh, it's that one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I mean, it's not a lot. It's still $154,000, which is, you know. And yeah, that's only getting 1.15 1. 1. or 1.5. 1. Right. Or point that's my point. That could be making $5,500 total. So. Right. That's, what the, that's part, part of the trick banks do. They your your CD will some some your CD will come due yeah a seven I month, know and the next seven month will be one percent yeah but if you put it on a six month it could be five percent yeah oh really so, that, so that's my concern is that yeah these are silly interest rates for you know three another three grand for, for these now I don't know when these are, are get drawn upon. I guess that's my only concern about tying it up. They have been investing in CDs, though. Yeah, Some they of have. that is part of it is trying to find the historical paperwork on how these were set up and what the stipulations are. Yeah. Because that's that's some of the challenge. Well, yeah, the that's what the town could always come up with the money. Yeah. And not take it out to to you know, right. have something. It, 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 yeah, it, 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 tell you when to take it. Kind of, it, 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 it lend them the money until it's yeah right. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, no, and let, 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 let this yeah. grow. Yeah, so it's okay. Kind of so I'm bringing it up the point of trying to right. figure out what. I mean, the money could all go on one CD, actually, even, but you could just have categories on the CD that say XYZ. But it, it, it should, not be, it should not be invested. And, and as you can see, these all came due already. Yes. The maturity did. dates. So, what, what so are how they long are they, though? Or are they sitting in a non interest year, area? one year. I, I don't know. Okay. I, I can't remember. I'm I remember bringing the attention of the, of the treasurer. Don would bring him up. Email, I'd, be I'd be happy to. Yeah, Don would, would bring it up to us. Don't you want to do this, want to do that. So they all happen right sure. now. They all happen this, this year. Yeah. 8, 14, 7, yeah, no, 18, I 5, 22. I will, I will send Michelle a. But we don't know if they're a year or six months or two years. It, I don't they know. all, right. Yeah. They may be sitting there. And the other month. thing is, when do they get drawn upon? What, what are they used for? Right. The Charles and Smith funds? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so are we done with the town treasury report? I think so. I think we are. Okay. Good job. Nice Thank job. You. Thank you. Very good job. Very good. I learned a little bit, and that's nice. Um, discussion on town engineering services. So what's happened here is we had a few meetings ago discussed uh, hiring Chase and Chase yeah. to help us engineer highway projects. Unfortunately, the engineer that was working with Chase and Chase is no longer there. So Chase and Chase cannot provide that service. Mm. Oh, geez. So that's too bad. Both Guthrie and I have been reaching out and asking various contacts for any list of potential engineering firms. I have not reached out to any yet because I wanted to have the meeting tonight. Um, so these, I've just listed the five names that have come to us or that we've heard of. And these have come, I asked FEMA, ironically enough. Um, and then Guthrie also asked his state contact, the stream engineer he works with a lot. So, and then I think he called Marshfield or Cabot. So I have this list of five. Um, the question is how would the select board like to proceed with this? What's the um, most local one of the bunch? I mean, none of them are that. Grand and Waterbury. Think, yeah, I think like two are Waterbury. I can't remember exactly where they all there's, were. There's, there's Stantec. Um, there's a, there's uh, the ones in Randolph. Uh, so so we, could, we could do an RFP for this, but really 
it's not for yeah. any set projects. It's not, and really all we're really lo would be looking for is hourly rates and info about <clears> the firm. So I don't really um, know that it's useful to do an RFP for something I, I, like this. I think the proposal would be request for, for qualifications. Huh? Um, who, who's qualified to do and who wants to? And yeah. what would it cost? And the, but the other thing yeah. is the local aspect is also important because sometimes you have, you know, you need the guy to come look, and you don't want to pay a hundred miles away. And I don't know who he's of not these, around anyway. They should they charge you for money. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know who of these that I would call may say, we're yeah. not taking any clients. So these are just ones I've listed because these are the names that we've heard I think they so love far. To work. A lot of them love to work um, for for municipalities. And we do have some projects, as you all know, yeah. with FEMA that you know we're going to need post storm that we do need some engineering on. So. Yeah. Um, we have no so, idea how much money we're going to be spending on this stuff, do we? Not really. Mm -mm. I mean, that thing up on, uh, up in Horn of the Moon or so we'll Santa Circle, what's that? I don't know. Too. That's, that's the FEMA's right. going to pay for it. it won't They're right be. in Montpelier. Hmm? Which right one? DeWolf. And the, the owner, the yeah. original owner there is uh, live, live in Callis. Yeah. The Wolf. That's so would you like me to? Are they an engineer? Yeah. I thought they were. They are? Yeah. I mean, their office is right down here on the Barrymont. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Do we, what do you want? <laughs> well, yes. I, well, I was going to say, That's I, they I can look up where station. people are, but just email yeah. all of these individuals and just get yeah. info from yeah. them. Did you want me to send? And I, then, I, I, and John, if you have any specific contacts that you can think of that, you well, know. I tried to vote. I tried to wolf. Yeah. Because I know their office is right because down here. They're, because they cover um, a wider range of engineering services. Some are just like... Focus on water and wastewater. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's, there's a couple engineering firms that do that. And then they struggle to do roads and stuff. You want somebody who can do the road stuff. One-stop one shopping would be... Because we don't have water and wastewater, so you don't need those people. Yeah. <clears throat> and have to hire two or three firms would not be... No. In our best interest, <laughs> yeah. I don't think. I've tried DeWolf. What is DeWolf's full name, though? It's DeWolf and what? It's is right it? here. It's DeWolf, it's DeWolf Engineering Associates. Okay. He, he's uh, Associates PC. He, he sold the business. Oh, he did? Yeah. Yeah. His kids went to school with my kids. They, they, they did the uh, fire station. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So we should, so they would be good to t just to talk to, see yeah. if they have it. Yeah. yeah. Obviously. Yeah. So I will look up you yeah. know, Thank you. where these people are. I'll yeah. reach out. Let yeah. them know what we're looking for. If they can please just right. oh. give me back some info, yeah. hourly rates. Yeah. You know, and then we that's can... really, that's... Yeah. All this is going to be by the hourly rate. Yeah. I mean, some of these, as much as Sander Circle, yes, needs to be engineered. It's not incredibly complicated. No. I mean, we've kind of already been told by the state what we think we need there. You know, yeah. so, but we need someone to do drawings. <laughs> we right. need someone to, to do it. <laughs> Don't they so, do a hydraulic study on there or no? Not yet. That'll not yet. be, that'll be some would. of what, yeah, yeah. We'll have to have all that done yeah. for, for FEMA purposes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I just want to get at least... Somebody. Somebody. Exactly. Yeah, Get so somebody we need on to... board, and we really need someone going forward as well, similar yeah, yeah. to how you had Doug Newton in the past. Yeah, you know, yeah. Have right. someone we that we, we have on contract that we can yeah. call upon when yeah. we have a situation that arises. And well, we... you can call these five, and I'd call DeWolf because they are local, yep. and we have dealt with them before. So yep. that's all I Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Do you have anybody else, John? Uh, I'm just looking because I can't remember the names of all of them, but... I had DeWolf, Dufresne Group, and Granier. Granier's and Waterbury, Dufresne Groups, and St. Johnsbury. Yeah, but they're, I think they, they did do roads for us. They did a road for us in Hardwick, a big road, a whole restructuring of the road. And then, yeah, so De, DeWolf, Dufresne Group, Granier, and then there's one right in Randolph. And let me just, I just need to figure out who they are. I can't remember for some reason. So I haven't dealt with these people for a while, so. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I'll find it, though. But when you find it, you can pass it on, but we'll keep going in yep. the meeting. Okay. Yeah. yeah, keep going. You don't have to wait for me. <laughs> um, so the next item on our agenda is the Town Garage Project Update. And we don't really have much. Um, Kathleen, Jant, and I emailed back and forth, and we're trying to get John to respond, but he was not responsive. <laughs> Uh, but this week we're going to try to do a meeting and get the and now the only other thing is we have to reach out to Andy I think and he's not around until the 17th which would be tomorrow yeah 
So Du Bois and King is another one. Oh, Du Bois and King, right? They're in Randolph. They do roads and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Connor doesn't do this. They're just building. What's that? Connor. They're just. They're just building. They don't. Yeah. yeah. They don't do this kind of stuff. No. 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 I mean, they have plenty of people on staff that are. Right, but, but yeah, no. Uh, so that's the update on Town Garage. We'll have a meeting as quick as we can to get the RFP out the door. You know, and I'll find out if it's going to be an issue, but I, I, you know, maybe I'll make it Thursday night too. That's your birthday, you said. Yeah, I know, but I'll oh, figure right. out what's going on. Yeah, I'm just worried about Wednesday night because I know that we're going to try to do a little bit more cropping myself, and it might run into the night. So, I don't know. Sometimes it's tough for me to get to a meeting when I'm in a field. Right. Well, yeah. Town, you know. You don't have it. You don't have a, like Wi-Fi in your tra tractor. I should. Yeah. You're way I, behind we, the times. No, yeah, we it. have it in one of our rigs. We're thinking about putting in another one, but <laughs> we have a GPS trap. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, we're not hooked on that though. <laughs> um, Let's not discuss any more sensitive matters because you realize this is going to be the paper tomorrow. Uh oh. Okay, but Amazon. Because we we're yes. planning. Oh, okay. Okay, so. That's big news. It is. Um, not news. <laughs> curb cut application is the next item on our agenda. I just realized I forgot to print it in your packet. Oh, okay. 23. Seth has the original. Do I have one? It's in front of, with your warrant. It's the first. Oh, okay. Oh, over here. Yep. Yeah. Have, oh, here we go. I have another one. Yeah, I Rebecca M. Hill in Essex Junction, Vermont. The property is zero tricking road. Yeah, it doesn't have an address yet. I'm not quite sure how that happened. But. Is that the house that's being built up there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because that's, that's on Chickering Road a little ways up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. there doesn't appear to be any 911 address for it. So, and clearly, you we're think they'd want to get a curb cut before they start cut. building because the house is already up. Yeah confused by how this one yeah. will happen. The house is up in the roof. It might even be on it, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing how many houses we've got in the last couple of years in East Montpelier. Yeah, yeah there's been a few. Permit yeah, one too. It wasn't any for years. Wow. says no culvert needed. Okay. Yeah, it's fairly uh, pretty easy access. So... We need a motion to approve the permit number 23-037. So moved. Okay. Zoe, what do you say? You want to second it? Sure. I was too slow to make the motion. I know. Oh. I, was, I was looking to Well, you made the motion. I mean, you made it. She seconded it. Okay, now. Shall I jump right through? Is there any further discussion? No, sir. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. And then we all have to sign it. Yes. And today and is 10 16. And I'll pass this around. Here. Those signatures. Those oh, awesome. Here. Thank you. Here, John, you want to sign okay. that? Thank you. Okay. Um, so while we're signing that, I'm going to move on to the warrants. Am I moving too quickly? You're doing great. I'll be, I'll be, I don't care what Scott says. I'll be able to follow you very closely. Okay. The warrants. October 9 is a special expense warrant. And since we're already over that date, so this that is a retroactive one. So special expense is correct. Yeah. This was one, Seth, I yeah. texted with you about. Yeah, yeah. Um, this was, we had quite a bit of work done on the building and the vendor's had some payments that they need to process and obviously we try to help out our vendors that have been taking such good care of our building so we had a special warrant to mm -hmm. cut those checks last week mm -hmm. okay. <coughs> well, that's not in here you just you i signed that it. one on your right, behalf right, right, because right. you approved that yes yes yep. so it's so just a copy of it i saved him a trip to the office that day It's a good thing. Mm. And they are doing really nice work on the building. Yeah, exactly. 
I know it's dark, so you can't see it now, but it looks yeah. good. I tell you, when you're painting an old building, it's always more than that looks. It's like the tip of the iceberg. Chiseling. You start chiseling a little bit. And... Well, that's what happened with the front porch. Yeah. He came in, and he's like, uh, there's quite a bit of wood rot. And okay. So, he, yeah, well, and Seth looked at it as well. So okay. he's in regular okay. communication with Seth. So good. Seth came by and took a, took a look at well, it. Well, a good thing is we went right to, right to <coughs> all the way down. And replace the post, everything was rotten. While you, while you do yeah, it. Yeah. Yes. Right. So it isn't just like on the face. It's no, done it all, all the way. Good. The post started to rot, we replaced all the rot. So it's a good job. It'll yeah, it actually, good. and I know it's not done, but it looks really good. Oh, I yeah, mean, it looks great. Putting it back together. It yeah, and it'll really last good. a long time. So. Yeah. I think it was a good call to kind of get the rotten the stuff. The painter's done doing a paint. good job too. We'll just have to see some of this made delay. Well, we still got some time to paint, but yeah, it's getting it's not down. drying it's getting, very fast now. Uh, <clears throat> no, yeah, it's getting close. Well, yeah, the weather is mm, uh huh. I know drawing upon us. I've got yeah. a lot of concrete to pour. I'm like, man, I hope I get that done because I don't like pouring when it's cold out and the ground freezes and you got to cover it. Oh, anyway. So that's the warrants. We'll pass those around. And then the town administrator report is. So we do have the new zoning administrator at some point in the future. So Michaela did accept the position. Oh, great. Um, yeah, but it so was we're just working higher, through all that. It was at a higher price than we yeah. uh, discussed, actually. It's at a, uh, so we're working through the background and reference checks. And then she and I are actually going to talk in the morning to hopefully nail down a start date. Mm -hmm. Tyson was in today, so we talked about that yeah. we have someone coming in. So then I'll work with the two of them on the transition plan. Um, we had two new zoning applications, thank you, since the last meeting. I know, a new house. An ADU and a new home. That's nice. why I said uh, it was funny that you were mentioning that. Well, like, that's part of the reason I read I read it, and that's why I brought it up. Yeah. There. Were there two warrant things I was supposed to sign? Is there what? Did you sign one? If I just signed one. Okay, There's only one, one. to sign. Okay. <clears throat> I think you got, yeah. Okay. Yep. I know you needed three. That's what's pretty good. Yep. You're um, I will be out of the office Wednesday through Friday. And the only other thing is, I just wanted to point out that I tentatively scheduled your second February meeting for February 26th. Yeah. February 19th is President's Day. Yeah. So, yeah. If that was okay with all of you, that's. that's yeah, I got to look at my schedule too, but I think I'll make this work. November 7th, I'm headed, headed south for a few days, but that'll work out well. Yeah, and if you need to tweak, that's why yeah, I yeah. like to put the future date. So if anybody, you know, if I think we need the to make adjustments, of, in we December can. looks really good. January, I can probably work around it. January 8th might be a little... So that's instead of January 1st, right? The 8th. Yes. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Well, we've got a little time to think about yeah. Yeah. February yeah. 1. Yeah. Okay. I like to just have all the future dates out here because no, no, it helps I, all of us to I see know. them, especially it's as we. Well, and especially yeah, as we get into winter season with any kind of travel schedules. Yeah, I have. buy all, all my tickets, you know, for the yeah. winter ahead. So this is useful, you know. Yeah. To bring this home, actually. Because I like to get them when I can get them, and they're a lot less, well, a lot less expensive. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Is it too uh, early for me to make a motion to adjourn the meeting? Yeah. We have yeah. we have one addition. We have an addition. We have one addition. Zoe, you're trying to. That's my job. And I have. <coughs> I have the same thing. We have an addition yeah. to deal. <coughs> we have what? No, mine is the, the addition MOU, that the, Gina oh. has on the side. Oh. Amendment. Yes. What's that? Can you? I was reading the last. The last um, the East Montpelier two buildings assessment agreement. Yeah. Can I mean I read that and I asked Amy and she had no recollection of that. Can you explain to me what that so, what that means? This is the Mark Been done before, grant. Actually. This is the energy efficiency grant that the uh, um, energy committee applied for. Uh -huh. So this particular assessment is essentially the highest level assessment that kind of can be done on your buildings. Um, and the hope is that this helps you unlock funding mm -hmm. to okay. help you then do the 
essentially make the buildings more energy efficient. Right. So this is an MO is a, a memorandum of understanding, yeah, basically, yeah, 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 or memorandum of, of agreement in this case with um, with Vermont and the town. And we could provide this information that we're gonna, yeah. Okay. And really, the energy committee is taking the lead on Great. doing okay. all of this. Thank you. I was yeah. Trying to figure it out while I was. But they sent this to me, but I said I can't sign this unless the select board says I can. Okay. So yeah. Um, if the board is comfortable with it, then I can no, great. sign this agreement on the table. Yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. I mean, this this has been audited, and they did do a lot of work, but whatever. Okay, thank you for that. We'll just see what happens. Concise explanation. I was trying yeah. to figure out while the third graders were jumping around <laughs> in East Montpelier. Okay. So if you are comfortable, we'll then... make a motion. Yes. Can I make a motion to authorize the town administrator to sign this agreement? of the memorandum of agreement <laughs> between the Vermont Department of Buildings and General Services and the town of East Montpelier. I will second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 <clears throat> the ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Okay. Sounds good to me. I make another motion to adjourn the meeting. You're making the motion to adjourn the meeting? I'll second it. I'll, any further discussion? Oh, I don't have to say that for that. You said this, no, this is not, you can either vote yes, no, or. Abstain. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it.